Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0. And today is day 23. So we're continuing our training with opportunities today, and we're going to get into sort of the compliance portion, documents, document checklists. We're going to go through all of that today. So let's dive into the opportunities applet. And we're going to come into our fake listing opportunity with our fake sellers, Margin Homer Simpson. And when we click on anywhere in this actual listing, and let me show you, I haven't shown you this before, but just real briefly, just so that you know, if you are moving your opportunity from stage to stage, it's as simple as clicking on the opportunity, holding down your mouse, and then dragging that opportunity card. And you can move it from stage to stage and from phase to phase. Do you see how the fist is grabbing it? If I want to move it to another phase, I just drag it up here until I see that pointer. And if I let go, it would move it into that under contract phase. Now let's get into the actual opportunity itself by clicking on it. And we're going to go into our documents tab. We're going to come back to seller profile when we get into some of the consumer items. We'll come back to marketing when we get into designs. But right now we're going to go into documents. And the first thing that we need to do inside of the documents tab, if we want to begin to upload documents for review, compliance, etc., is we need to pick our checklist type. So we've got checklist over here on the left hand side. Now your list may look a little bit different. This is built by your market center and they're building out the checklist and the items in each of those checklists. So let's just say that this is actually a residential listing for margin home where we're going to choose this first option here. When we do that, you'll see that we get multiple folders and inside each one of those folders, we're going to have a whole series of documents that need to be uh, submitted for compliance for our actual brokerage. So on the left hand side, you're going to see we've got the listed folder, the under contract folder, and then the closed folder. Now let's just review the listed folder for a listing for my specific market center. You're going to see on the right hand side, an entire series of documents. Now, each one of these documents is going to have a status. So those statuses would be uh, not uploaded, approved, returned, uploaded, excuse me, approved, returned, not uploaded, replaced, or missing. So you can filter your opportunity by those specific document statuses. You're gonna see the requirement type. So is this specific document required by your brokerage? Is it conditional, meaning it's required as long as it applies? Or you may have some at the bottom that are optional items. You do have a tooltip next to each one of these, right? Again, this is your market center building these out. Um, but you can see that I have a tooltip for almost every one of the documents in our list and what it is uh, basically about for that document. Next, you've got the document title. So you can see each one of the actual document titles. And if you see a DS next to the document, that means that your market center has actually connected this form to a DocuSign form group. And what that means, and we'll show you how to connect DocuSign in just a moment, is that if I go in and connect this opportunity to DocuSign, any of the documents that have DS next to them would be automatically loaded into my opportunity. Now this is market center by market center. Each one of your market center uh, compliance teams is gonna do this a little bit different, but just a heads up what that DS stands for. Next, you've got the type of document. And then on the far right hand side, you can tell whether the document has been uploaded or not. And if it has not been uploaded, then you've got a couple of options. Up here at the top, you can see that you can attach your files from, and then it says my computer, because that's the only option we have right now. Now, if you're doing all of your uh, paperwork signing, maybe you're doing it in person, old school pen and paper. In that case, you would wanna take it back to the office, scan it in, and then you could come in, click on browse, access your files, and then begin to upload those at that point. So you could upload from your actual computer. The other option is to actually connect DocuSign to your KW Command account, and then access DocuSign from within the opportunity. So to do that, we're gonna come into our settings menu. And you're gonna see that inside the settings menu, the first option here underneath the applications is DocuSign. And it'll say, do you wanna connect the account? So when you click on connect account, 
it's going to ask you for your first name, last name, and email unless you already have a DocuSign account created. If you do, you would click on login here and put in your DocuSign email. Now, just a heads up, I do believe at some point in this sign-on process, you are gonna need your NRDS, your NERDS number. Um, essentially, that's from the National Association of Realtors. You can get that number by logging into that account at nar.realtor. And if you're a brand new realtor, this should have been part of your setup or sign-on process, but you would log into your account and then come into manage account and you would see that you have, it's probably gonna log me out. Nope, it logged me in. So here is my member ID or my NRDS number, right? So that's my specific NRDS number. So you may need that when you go through the actual sign-on process. Please don't use mine, use your own, um, but that's uh, one step in that. <coughs> Excuse me, once you actually have your DocuSign account created, and I'm gonna get that done in a, a future challenge here um, offline so I can show you document management in a future video, but essentially you would then have the ability underneath the Documents tab to click on Start a Transaction and DocuSign would then be an option where you would be automatically taken into a automatically created room with a list of documents ready for you to go. Once you had documents inside of that room, then this drop down would actually say DocuSign as well, and you could access the documents from the room and get those uploaded. Once you begin to upload documents into this actual folder of documents, you can then, once you've got them all done, you've made sure everything's initialed and signed and they all look good, completely filled out, all of my required documents are loaded, I can actually submit this folder of documents to my Market Center for Compliance Review by clicking on Submit to MC. That would create a new opportunity inside of what we call Command MC, Command MC for Market Centers, and your Compliance Coordinator could then begin to review your documents and then either approve the opportunity or return the opportunity. And if they return the opportunity, this will usually have a little exclamation point and you'll have a little check, a little text box here. And typically your compliance coordinator is going to tell you why it was returned. So that's a quick walkthrough of your documents tab inside of your opportunity um, that we have created inside of the opportunities applet. Like I said, we are gonna dive into DocuSign. I've gotta make sure that I can get this demo account connected and then we'll do some additional training on DocuSign and compliance. Then we'll get into offers and commissions as well. So stay tuned for that. As always, hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.